This video will demonstrate how to insert parts into an, an assembly using Autodesk Inventor. Begin by creating a new assembly file. This assembly file environment looks much like the modeling environment, except that the tools on the ribbon are different. We're going to begin by placing our very first part. Go to the Place tool and it will give you a list of the parts that are available in your current project. I'm going to insert this part right here called Spider. I can change my zoom. You can see that it's attached to my cursor, my crosshairs, and I could put it anywhere I want, but it's important that the first part that you put into an assembly environment, environment is the grounded part, maybe the part that everything else is going to be attached to. It needs to be uh, steady, it needs to be uh, rather um, stable, it's not going to change much. <clears throat> um, so that way we can have it to work off of as a skeleton, if you will, for everything else. If I press F6, you'll see that I get a more uh, natural view of it, an isometric view, if you will. Um, and so I want to put this in here. Again though, I don't want it to move around, so rather than just click and place it just anywhere, uh, it's best to ground that first part by right click and choose place grounded at origin. And you'll see that it places in, a, in that part in the environment and then it allows me if I wanted to I could click and place as many other of these spiders as I want. But I don't want any more so I'm going to right click and choose OK to complete this insertion. Now this part right here as I move over it you'll notice that it's got like a little push pin next to the crosshair or next to the cursor saying that this thing is grounded. I cannot move it at all. And if you look up here on the browser, you'll notice that there's a push pin here as well. If I wanted to unground this, I could simply right click on here and I could uncheck where it says grounded. Notice that this moves around now and I could click out here and move it around, but that's not what I want. So I'm going to right click on this and make sure that it stays grounded. Now this is not necessarily a, a natural view for this. Uh, this part actually should be standing up in our environment. So what I can do now is I can use the view cube to change my view to get something that's a little bit more natural. So this would be a more natural front view, but notice that on my top, on my view cube here, it says that it's the top and it's upside down. So to change that, what you can do is you can hit the little down arrow right here and you can say set this current view as the front okay and then if I click here this is my a more natural isometric view for this uh, the other thing I can do here now that I've got this more natural isometric view I can also click down on this say set this current view as home and for, say fit to view so that now no matter where I go in here doesn't matter what I'm looking at, no matter how I turn it around. If I press F6, it brings me back to that natural front uh, isometric where I've got my front here, my top, and my side views. Now to place other parts, you can do the same thing. You can go to the place tool up here, or you can use the marking menu, click and drag straight up, place component, and then I could pick any other part that I want. Let's say that I want this block. Say open. And I can now place as many parts of these as I want simply by click, 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 placing them around. The rest of the parts that you place are probably not going to be grounded at the origin. So that way we only have one that occupies the origin. The rest of these I can simply click and drag to move them around. This concludes the video on how to place parts into an inventor assembly.